Good evening and welcome to the Royal Opera House for this evening's insight into Myling, Kenneth Macmillan's dark and exquisite ballet. I'm Chloe Miller-Smith. Created for the Royal Ballet in 1978, Myling broke new ground by telling the true story of the death of the lovers, the Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria and his mistress, Mary Betsera. It was unprecedented not only in its sordid subject matter, but also in its psychological intensity. And almost four decades later, it continues to shock and enthrall. Luckily for you, you can see it here on stage at the Royal Opera House from the 8th of October and in cinemas around the world on the 15th of October. Do just visit the Royal Opera House website for more details. In just a moment, we'll see some live rehearsal with dancers of the Royal Ballet and speak to some of the people getting the work ready for its opening night in just a few weeks' time. And as always, we want to hear from you, so do get in touch via the comments box on YouTube and hopefully we'll hear a little from you later on. Myling is based on the Myling incident, which took place in Austria in 1889. The Crown Prince Rudolf, the only direct heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, and his 17-year-old mistress, Baroness Mary Vetsera, were found dead in his hunting lodge in the village of Myling, their deaths an apparent suicide. Rudolf's father, Emperor Franz Joseph, attempted to hide the cause of their deaths, declaring Rudolf's an accident and not declaring Mary's at all, having her body buried secretly nearby. But over the following years, letters have revealed the true story, and it was those that inspired Kenneth Macmillan to make this extraordinary work. Now, to tell us more about the ballet and about getting it ready for its opening night, please do welcome ballet master and principal character artist, Gary Avis. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Hello. Welcome to our brand new floor. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, first night in our new opened house with some lovely, comfortable seats for the audience here in the room. Um, Gary, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. You're very familiar with this work. You've danced roles for many years and you're leading rehearsals as well, as well as taking part on stage. That's right, isn't Yes, it? that's right. I started right back in uh, round about, oof, must have been 1992 being a, a ballroom guest and then worked my way up to being a Hungarian officer. Mm -hmm. I now play the role of Bay Middleton and I'm also Franz Joseph, Emperor Franz Joseph. So I've kind of worked my way up through the court. Should we rename so. it Avis? Avis. Avis, yes. Let's why? go for that. <laughs> so the Myling incident itself was a pretty remarkable series of events. Yes. Which part does this ballet tell the story? Well, of? I think ingeniously the, the ballet was crafted in such a way that from the beginning and then there's a prologue and an epilogue, which mm -hmm is a repeat of exactly the same scene, but with the um, last scene, there's a slight twist in it. So um, I think it, it keeps the audience guessing right from the very start. But the act one begins with the marriage, the forced marriage of Prince Rudolf of Austria-Hungary yeah. to um, Princess Stephanie of Belgium. Mm -hmm. And then it runs and documents all the way through until obviously the death or the suicide of uh, Mary Vetsera and Crown Prince Rudolf. Yeah. And you'll know well, uh, Macmillan, this is one of his most famed works and is famed also for its very demanding emotionally very demanding. and physically. Absolutely. I, I was doing some research recently and um, David Wall was documented in saying that, you know, he used to be in a rehearsal studio with Kenneth saying, you know, Kenneth was really testing him and saying, I really want you to, you know, do these various parts with these various movements. And David was saying, I can't get my arm in that position. And Kenneth just kept pushing him and pushing him. And I think it's one of those roles that... he got that, the arm in that position? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I think he just kept pushing people to the boundaries, not only physically mm -hmm. and through the choreography, but also with the intensity of the drama and all of the levels of emotion that he had to go from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's incredibly well-crafted. And Myling is really a, a keystone of the Royal Ballet repertoire, but it's been off stage now for a couple of seasons. How do you start getting a ballet like this back on stage and back to uh, well, the place it left off? Generally, we would sort of um, start with about three or four weeks to get a, a ballet, a three-act ballet together. So we would start by piecing all of the elements together in the first two weeks. And then we'd have studio calls where we bring all of those elements together and start piecing the whole ballet together. Yeah. That would be full studio calls with the various casts. And then we would put it on for the fourth week on stage where you then obviously get all of the elements with the technical lighting and all the rest of it. So you have about a, a four week 
time span before we actually touch it. And in the rehearsal right. room, you're working with, I believe, Banesh Notation. Yes, well, we're really, really lucky because the Banesh Notation is basically our Bible. So for us, if we didn't have it, we haven't got a ballet. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things where the ballet is notated at the time of its creation. So all of the various elements and all of the important things that Kenneth would have said to David Wall and Lynn Seymour at the time and all of the other characters, it doesn't just document the, the positions of the dancers, but it also tells you about the emotions and the intensity and how you're meant to act your way through it. Mm -hmm. And what's brilliant is we always go back to the Bible and wherever it's put on in the world, the Benish notation is always taken as point one. And then once everybody's learnt the elements of that choreography, we then put our own interpretation on top of it. But being really respectful to keeping the choreography as it is. Lovely. So we're going to see some rehearsal in a second. Yes. We're going to see Act 2, Scene 5 of Myling. Um, can you tell us me what's happening in this scene? Uh, well, I was watching it earlier in our full call. We had a, a full call this afternoon with one of the cast, and I was thinking, well, how am I going to explain this to you? Um, <laughs> it's, I think it's the very first time that Mary Vet Sarah and Prince Rudolf are in a room by themselves, and it's that first time that you actually see their intimacy together. When they've met before, it's usually on the street or they've been introduced to each other in a court. So it's been very formalised and they usually greet each other with a kiss on the hand or a curtsy or a bow. Whereas this is the very first time where Mary turns up. And I think you can tell from the word go because of the beautiful designs by Georgiades, um, Nicholas Georgiades, mm -hmm. you will see that she basically strips off her coat and she's already in her negligee. So I, I think we already know where this is going yeah, in this scene. I, so um, I think, probably. as I say, I think it's, it's kind of a bit of a, you know, one of those points in the ballet where you suddenly go, OK, this is where we are, and this is where we're at with this. So, yeah, the intimacy is really paramount in this. Great. Well, I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much, Gary. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, to rehearse, please welcome dancers of the Royal Ballet, Melissa Hamilton and Ria Richa Hirano, coached by senior teacher Alexander Agajanov and pianist Paul Stobart. <laughs> So, uh, wait, let him come, sit there, and then we will start, OK? We will start from you, yeah? Now he's coming back to his room, Rudolf, and now Mary appears on his premises. He's sitting there, and then she comes, okay. she curtsies, so he walks to her. I've got lights up here. Well, I can't see it. And you don't work there. You walk across stage. So do you want before then? Uh, before her entrance? With before her entrance, yeah. With that. OK. So can I play lights up then? Is that good? Yeah. Okay.
Now, when you uh, reach it, when you sit here, be a little bit, don't be there. You are obsessed with this, so show the, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. the, and uh, Melissa, when you come on yeah. and you do curtsy, you already see what he, so not just when you pick it up, you see yeah. what he has, yes? And then you can, re otherwise you are completely disconnected. From there, all of a sudden, you know that you have to pick it up. You have to, to show exactly that you, you already know what he is on, yeah? <laughs> and now, when you uh, curse it, just don't walk so, you walk slowly, but you, you already notice when, when she curls, when she curls, not before that. Mm -hmm. There, you got up, and go, don't wait. So when you come to her, just about, you already know, so you pick it up, her coat that she slides out of it, yeah? Remember what I told you, yeah, no, don't escape. Once more, can we do it just from her curtsy? A little, a little bit uh, before. A from her entrance or from that step? From when she curtsy. From coming in her entrance. It's good, but not. <laughs> but look, when she goes, uh, do me porte bra. The, uh, after this, you you come, come, come. Mm -hmm. You took her. Then don't expose her so far. Mm -hmm. So you turn her and then look there before you strip her, mm -hmm. because you, you are exposing. We know exactly what you are going to do. Mm -hmm. It should be a shock, mm -hmm. uh, unexpected, yeah. And then after that. Strip, wait, and then do it slowly, slowly, when you start to kiss you, yeah, start to kiss, that she's not waiting when she can take her leg off of you. Yeah, yeah slow, 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 slow. That's right. Feel the music, because music is there, and you're right there, and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. And this, particularly, you see, you did so quickly, you go, reaching, and then from that position you go there. Mm -hmm. Then it's organic with the music, yeah? Let's do from the walk. <coughs> also, it would be nice that when you put down, mm -hmm. he not standing there, you put down and straighten up, so he takes you from this position and not from there. I know, normally the table's higher. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I know, but still, you are paying to you no know, put, you, yeah. then he touches, and. You have to pull her, really, to pull, and not like she's going herself, you know? Pull, pull, stop. Let's do it from when he comes to her. No, 
she puts the skull on the table. Okay, this is the skull. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, that shouldn't happen, that you shouldn't pull her mm. hair, you know? <laughs> so when you put your head and you feel him, feel him that yes, mm. there, that's right. Uh, slightly walk beside me, yeah. Mm. So I will be behind, but slightly so you wouldn't step on him. Yeah. And then strip was okay, but I find that you are on purpose too far away. You don't need that, mm -hmm. you know? Strip, strip the, bah, what's the? Just a little, that's it. And then you don't need to expose, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's already intense. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do, da, 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 e arabesque, that was much better, much better. Every time when you, you go from one into another. Now, when you pick up the gun, mm -hmm. I don't, <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, Richie, I don't feel that you're frightened at all. Well, it's, I you're that. not at all. So, <laughs> look, for example, when she steps, you're, you're alert. You're alert first. But oh, it's something. And, I'm but not you, of death. She, you're not afraid. <laughs> But she's but challenged, I no knew one. That she was gonna do it. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when she pulls that, the, you should you turn uh, disconnected with her. Mm. You see, and then she says, "Ta, you should, you should more, 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 and more. Mm. Otherwise, in the end, you are frightened. It's it's nothing. She builds up." Huh? Yeah, because if there's more space, I can step out. <laughs> Absolutely. And then when you put gun, mm -hmm. don't uh, just can you go there, please? Okay. 
you put the gun and you don't need to, to push the view in there. The, this is enough already. He feels the gun. <laughs> The, I feel, um, but you see, you, you, you dilute a little bit intense that, uh -huh. that he is real for the first time, he's frightened uh -huh. or something. Okay. No one challenged him like that. And you did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do it just. Can you do once more uh -huh. the gun? That was better. Only, <laughs> only feel that when you do arabesque, that yeah. the leg doesn't go too far back. Yeah, it's, it always no. brings up the yeah. combo back. Yes, yeah. The, the transition then into the mm -hmm. back. It's already up And also, stage. Richie, the most important here, that she's doing so beautifully, but I don't feel any connection with you. You're just doing physically steps. You should a little bit more involved with her. Mm -hmm. When she goes, ah, drag, hop, there. Even not a kiss as a kiss, but you have to be a little bit closer. Because completely this is so provocative and, and we don't feel that. We just feel that you are doing exercises and not, uh, you know what I mean? Why don't we repeat? Huh? From the gun or from, from, the... from the glide. Okay, so after Let's the gun. Feel each other. That's right. Right. Off, off, that's right. Now don't deep and just hold it there. That's it. Long attitude. We continue.
thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. It just uh, when you do the lift here, try not not to just like a lift up, Melissa. Fuite first, then bring the bottom leg there. E promenade. It shouldn't be stop and then press. Do it like lift down promenade. Lift down there. So it's not stop and then we forgot what to do. And be more involved also when you do promenade here. Yeah? Okay, yes. can we do this uh, again now? What here? When you uh, trying to caress your neck, neck. So let him, let him. Do, don't uh, escape. When just, yes, yeah. when I he mean, does one side and then I need one to, side and yeah. then the other side. Can you just bring him a little bit more space? Okay. Okay. Forward. Yeah? yeah. So it should, and then tease him. Uh -huh. You go away. Yeah. Let's do from that lift. Okay. Yes, okay. Good. Just you know that when you do this lift, lift, uh, put down, mm -hmm. and then that was much better. Portura. But when you lift you, don't make it slow. Make it a little. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A little bit, and also, yeah. Okay. Dark step away. The whole a hey, now. Ta da. A little bit. You go. Not drop it. You go da, down. Okay. Also, the same applies when when she goes with her back. It's a little bit too slow. You go tung, turn, a little bit sharper. Should be yeah, because it it melts a little bit. Do you think you know, be with your past? with your uh, back when you go yeah. back. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine position, but you are doing a little bit. <laughs> Slower than it should be. It should go top. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. Shall we do it with the music? Mm -hmm. You know where we are? No. Beginning? Did you say? No, it's not the beginning. <laughs> so what did you say? It's. Um, <laughs> yeah, for it, uh, lift. Second time. If you play second time, lift. Lift. After the first person was lift. Yeah? Just one. Push. 
picture. That's all. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. So we need very clearly see that position, and then you go. So you are not falling. Yeah. I want to find a better way to hold you before I push the head. Actually, it's not. Uh, he's supposed to be when you push him from uh -huh. here. Yeah. Come here. It's if I say he's literally like that. That's all. You good push. <laughs> very good. You see that? That's what it means. You know, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And make it as slow as possible. The last kiss. When you kiss, it roll. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, that's the first part of the. That's the first meeting. <laughs> It's very difficult to do it twice. Do it. <laughs> they do it several times. You see, they've done it already this uh, morning, well, yeah. afternoon. And, and now it's like third time they're doing this. Party. And we'll see some more very soon. So thank you. We'll let you catch your breath. No. Um, and we'll see you in a little while. He, he, also, he has five other ladies with whom he does. Well, ladies. well, he does in his own time. It's, it's, no. It's, you know, and they are very, very different, all different. Absolutely. Ladies. And it, it's Rio's debut his as well. We'll talk to him soon. His lovers and the... Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Alexander. We'll see you in a second. You go yes. and catch your breath too. <laughs> um, lovely. So we will see a little more from uh, the dancers and Alexander in a minute. Um, but the role of the pianist, as you'll probably have guessed, is a really key one, uh, both to the show itself and also in the rehearsal room. But the role in the pianist, the role for the pianist in this show goes well beyond the rehearsal room. Um, to tell us more about that, I'm here with pianist Paul Stobart. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hello. You're in the spotlight now. I am now. No more hiding. Yeah. Um, and that's something that we'll talk about in a second. But first, the score for Myling, it's based on it the music of difficult. Franz Liszt. The whole thing's really difficult. Yes. Yeah, and he was, the composer Franz Liszt was one of the greatest yeah. piano virtuosos of his yeah. day, wasn't he? Yeah. Can yeah. you, just to throw you in at the deep end, can mm. you give us a really tricky section? Well, the whole thing, the whole thing is, is tricky because I feel it's such a responsibility to at least attempt to bring out all the nuances in the music. What a lovely it's such thing. a wonderful lyrical score. It's very powerful, but it's also... Yeah full of wonderful melodies which have to be joined together mm -hmm. and, and one thing has to lead to the other smoothly. Because it was a whole collection of that, bits right. of list, right? It wasn't that's written right. as one full work. It was written in various bits and then put together by Lanchbury. That's that right. right, Jack Lanchbury, who Lanchbury. I was very fortunate to work with as well. Oh, so that's great, yeah. Really are an expert. Well, let's find so a bit. Give us a tricky it's, bit. It's all terribly tricky, but there's, there's one bit in, in the snow scene um, where in the right hand you've got semiquavers like this and in the left hand you've got oh. which, which is impossible I don't know how I'm doing it uh, nor do I <laughs> nor do we and you are you're working very hard I know um, the list as well had a very large hand span yes. so and he I wrote haven't. you I haven't, haven't so how I'm, are in your the mornings hands? I'm trying to stretch my hands you know is that a, really? Yeah, honestly. And, uh, and uh, my, my day at the moment, for the last month, has, has started at seven in the morning. So I, I start practicing at seven in the morning. There's so much to, to know. Yeah. You, you can't just think, oh, well, I know that. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you get to the rehearsal at 12 o'clock, you've played a couple of hours and it's two o'clock. Yeah. If, if you haven't already played it that day, you, you, you don't, it's not in your system well enough. A little bit like the coach. dancers do class in the morning yeah. to warm up. You also yeah. need to do the same that, thing. That's true, yeah. yeah. And your role doesn't stop in the rehearsal room, as we said. You're also playing a character on stage. You're playing oh, Alfred Grunfeld. Yes. Tell me a little bit about him. When do we see him? You're going to ask him? me the historical questions, actually, because I don't know anything about it. Well, wh uh, what's your costume? Tell us that. Well, no, I, 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 I know a bit about um, Alfred Grunfeld. He, he, um, he was a very entertaining music musician. Mm -hmm. He wrote... Uh, about 100 piano pieces and lots of other um, chamber music as well. But a also a lot of his music was based on other people's music. Yeah. Um, one, one of them is um, based on um, Fledermouse. But I, I'm, this is not his version, but it's, it's sort of something, it goes something Go on, like show this. Us. It's 
all a bit, it's all very entertaining. I think, I don't know if it's there. And, and a lot of his uh, recordings are still around. The original ones were done on uh, wax cylinders. Okay. But there are a lot of his recordings around, and they're very, very entertaining. Yeah. Much more than that. Well, we look forward to seeing you on stage, and we'll mm. see you in cinemas if you're watching around the world, um, or on stage if you're coming along. Uh, and aside from Myling, you're working very hard in the Myling rehearsal room, I know that, but you as a, a member of staff here are also working on ballets, lots of other ballets. Which ones are you playing for at the moment? Well, at the moment, I'm, I'm only doing this one. This is taking all my time. Right. Now. Um, but in a normal kind I, of... I, in, a no, in a normal... When, when, when it quietens down, I'll be doing whatever's on in the rep. Yeah, right. that's right. And I play ballet classes as well. Wow. Where we have to uh, improvise in lots of different styles and be able to provide the right impetus. Mm -hmm. I, I, I try and at least match what the dancers are doing. We're working with top, the top artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to be able to give them something of, of equivalence to, to their standards of, of work. Mm. Well, it's been wonderful to talk mm. to you. To give you a, a little breather now, we'll leave you there for a Thank second. Thank you very much. We'll Thank you. hear some more from you later. Thank, Thank you. you, Paul. Thank you. Now, remember, we want to hear from you, so do get in touch on YouTube using the comments box. And it looks like our dancers have caught their breath. So before we invite them back on, I'd like to introduce you to another Paul. Uh, this is Paul Kay, Royal Ballet soloist, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the next rehearsal. Please welcome Paul. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Let me first give you that to go with your top hat. It's Thank a you very hat much. and cane. Thank there you. we go. <laughs> um, now, Paul, you play the character Bratfish. Can you tell us a little bit about him? So he is Prince Rudolph's uh, coachman, mm -hmm. and he's probably one of his most trusted um, employees, as you were. And um, he's trusted with meeting Prince Rudolph with Mary Retzborough. Right. For the secret meetings. He knows a lot of okay, his Okay, so deepest, you know everything. I know all the secrets, yes. Brilliant. So I think he's very um, close in the way that they share the secrets between them. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about the choreography. We, we've heard that the roles that Macmillan created for this are very demanding. How is it for you? What's the choreography like for Bratfish? It is extremely demanding. It's very fun to dance, actually. It's um, classically based, but it's very quirky. Mm -hmm. I feel he's invested the character very much in the choreography. So Bratfish appears sporadically during the, uh, the ballet, mm -hmm. but you really get a sense of his character right the way through, through his choreography. and. The hat tricks as well, which are very tricky. I'm very much looking forward to these hat tricks. <laughs> yes. Well, we'll see it. Um, we're going to see now a rehearsal of Act 3, Scene 3. Where you'll be joined again by Melissa and Ria Ricci. Where does this come in the, the ballet, in the story? So this comes in Act 3, okay. and it's uh, very near the, the end of the ballet. Okay. It's a moment where I'm bringing Mary Vetsera to Prince Rudolf, Rudolf for the last time. And um, he's in a very dark downward spiral with depression, drug abuse, mm -hmm. um, and I know that inevitably I can't drag him back from that, but um, I try in vain to lighten his spirits and dance for him one last time. Um, but th at the end of the day, there's not much I can do. Okay, well, yeah. I'm sure the dancing is almost worth it. <laughs> yes. um, lovely. Well, it sounds great. I'll let you get started. Let me throw Thank that back off you. So please welcome back to join Paul, dancers Ria Richa Hiranu, Melissa Hamilton, coach Alexander Agajanov and pianist again Paul Stobart. Yeah, just uh, but uh, let him sit there. Just give him four enough? eight counts before he comes, before breakfast okay. begins. Yeah, okay.
just try that when you do pistols, that try not to make such an obvious preparation, procurement. Make it land, E, pirouette. You turn slow, a little bit, turn slow, then transition will be much smoother, yeah? So, and this with Amboate, when you go, make it wider a little bit, so you're traveling. Yeah, not under yourself, yeah. But pistol, because you do very well. Yeah. Uh, but then land and waiting for period. So take it. Ah, no, with the music, but uh, it, was it uh, yeah, slow? It's good tempo. No, it's yeah. good tempo yeah. So, yeah. but you can do it. Yeah. And uh, you do period, e, oh, so without yes. kitchen there, yeah? stretch. Okay. <laughs> you want to repeat this? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Come here, Richie. I gave him corrections so he, he will know because, but he knows, he knows this role very well so he does it very well. So you say goodbye and send him and we will do our part. Oh, where you stopped, yeah. Buy it as well, you know? <laughs> no, not bad, not bad, not bad. Good. Just make it a little bit more when you go ahead. Daddy, so don't make it too small. Yeah. Ah. E, head, yeah, that one. This is, yeah, that's right. Good. And then when, when you do this step, glide, so don't make it too light. It's like lead there, so heavy legs, yeah? Eww. That's right. And back, cross, cross, cross for there. That's right, try not to fall there. That's it, yes, good. 
And then when you do the, this step, a little, put weight. It's a little bit too light. It's too light. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Ah. E. Also weight when you turn. That's right. That's right. Hold now. Turn. E. Ah. Weight. Yeah. That's right. D. Turn. Now. That was good. The snake was good. But then you were a little bit late when you do a little bit wrong jump quicker with the leg. And when you do face her, when you do arabesque, you have to see her there. So Paul, can you play us a little bit just after his steps? Step, step, second time. Step, the tone, fall down. I want to, to repeat you, uh, also, when you turn, turn, don't go, turn, back, turn, straight, they the same line. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let's do from uh, pirouette section. Come, come here. We won't, we won't do the steps because you understood what to do. But do the pirouette, pirouette section. Twisting. Pirouette, pirouette. No, twisting okay, will okay, be on okay, the floor. Okay. That's right. Bah. Stay, stay. Ita. Ah, boom. That's it. Good. And continue.
Not so much energy, not so much energy. Rest you will see it when you see it at home. You okay? You feel good. Ryuichi, uh, when she comes for your uh, antralese, uh, pick up your uh, uh, body a little bit sooner because you are living to the edge. Holding, mm -hmm. holding here, so you are exhausted, but meet you like this. So the bure, when she does first antralese, do more bure that we see clearly when you do the kiss, yeah? And the other one, not with your popo to us there, but you are going there, yeah? The lift itself is fine, but also the, all the lifts were quite good, actually. Um, just I want you to say. Richie, stay a little bit more on your legs. See? Even you're exhausted, tired, particularly the, the end of your solo. Yeah, before you fall into the knee. Stay a little bit more stably. Yeah, that, that part when you do develop all this fine, uh -huh. fine, fine, good. Um, this is good. Lifting. Now. And and there are three acts actually. It's <laughs> only two. <problem. laughs> so what I would like you to ah here when you lift your the first one diagonal make it a little bit sharper. Boom, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. between yeah. Yeah. So uh, because it's you have nice extensions but you are doing a little bit 
too much down. Slide it, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, don't hurt yourself, but make it act because it's very strong yeah, accent the in the music. You go, bam, da, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. This is all good. There. Mm -hmm. Very well mm -hmm. done. No? Rich. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to repeat anything? <laughs> Save Rio's health. Save and thank him. you so Save much for, tomorrow. for coming along. Alexander, that was it's yeah. so extraordinary to see this so up close. So thank you so much very, for letting us all uh, watch your rehearsal. For them it's a very hard day because they are from ten thirty, you know, until now. It's a long day. It is and a long they day. They rehearse all day through. So yeah. but well, come you. and see their performance. <laughs> it will be Round better. Applause, yeah. Definitely will be better. Yeah. Rio, Alexander will say goodnight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alexander Ezeganos, everybody. Rio and Melissa, come on over for me. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you both the microphone. Rio, if I could ask you. I'm going to. Um, OK, very quickly. Pop. So whilst we're here, Melissa, come hi. on in and join me. Come a little bit closer. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Do you breath. Breath. You're, this is remarkable. Still. Still breathing, still talking, you're fine. Of course, of course, always. Yeah, you're very <laughs> used to this. Well, uh, Melissa, you're returning yeah. to this role. The last time you danced it was in 2013, 13, I believe. Yes. How is it coming back to it? Have your feelings changed? Um, I think every time you return to a role, it's completely different. Um, you start at a completely different place, but it means that there's so much further that you can go with it. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of, you have everything that you've learned from your previous experiences and sometimes I can taint your vision of a role and sometimes yeah. I can enhance it. Um, but I think in the Macmillan works, because there's always so much deeper that you can delve mm -hmm. each time that you do it. So the more you come back to a role, the more you can find there's nuances, there's details, there's yeah. tiny little details that you would never have even kind of thought about mm -hmm. in previous runs. And of course you've got a new partner. Yes, I absolutely. Do. How's it been in rehearsal getting, that must bring with it as well a, a difference in how you approach a role? Yeah, I mean in 2013 I did with Rupert Pennyfather and um, Tiago Suarez and to experience a role with a different partner, um, it, it gives you a completely different ballet basically. Mm -hmm. um, because you're playing off someone else's energies um, what someone else brings to the role of the ballet or how they read it mm -hmm. because everyone has their own in individuality within yeah. these ballets that you kind of, you come and see a different cast and you'll see it in a completely different light. Mm -hmm. um, so to work on it with a new yeah. partner is and an, then another new level. It's been very exciting watching you together. <laughs> Rio, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to make you talk after all that. I'm very sorry. Um, we won't hold you for long. I know they are very busy indeed. <laughs> so Rio, it's clear we've put you through your paces tonight. Macmillan indeed has put you, and Alexander has put you through your paces. <laughs> You're making a role debut yes. this time. How has it been? What are the biggest challenges of this role? Uh, well, I think challenging, the most challenging thing is uh, I've got five different partners, nine partners, three solos, right. so I'm always on. Mm -hmm. So the stamina is, is a challenge. Yeah. But um, at the same time, they're telling the story because he's a really troubled man and to tell that story is very difficult yeah. because usually you know this kind of role is really aggressive and really strong uh, personality it's really hard to tell that very slight change in his mm. personality yeah. or like in within his mind yeah. so that bit of change is uh, really hard for me to well it's challenging for me to kind of show the audience well, you're doing a wonderful job. A, a question for both of you, Melissa, perhaps you'll answer first. You're playing here, these are real life characters, these are people who lived. Does that affect the way in which you approach a role? If you know that those people were real and you're representing their story, does that change things for you at all? Well, when you look into a role, then you have solid grounding to kind mm. of base it upon. 
it, it is a real person. You don't have to go so much into your imagination to find that character. You have to almost do your research a little bit better because there's less leeway for your own imagination. Yeah. Um, because you have to be true to, to history. Yes. And in effect, this is a historical piece because we are representing an actual event. Mm. Um, so it, you have to read up on the event and find out exactly what happened, how it panned out, mm -hmm. how they came to meet, and how it developed and in such a dramatic story. way yeah. for this event to actually happen. Yeah. Um, and I think that is always a really exciting thing to come along with the role. Um, it kind of it gives it much more um, gravitas. Mm -hmm. Rio, have you had a look into the story coming to this piece for the first time? Yes. Have you looked into the story and, and yes, learnt about yes, him I, I through have books? Yes, I studied a lot and, and of course I've been in the company for a long time, so yeah. I've done this ballet, I've been in this ballet quite a few times mm -hmm. now and I've done so many different roles and now I'm finally doing this role, so it's, yes, it's really nice to kind of now... I had my vision of Prince Rudolf mm -hmm. for a long time, and now I'm, I'm the one that telling well his story and also my vision of him. And has that changed your vision when you were watching other people do it to now when you are? Yes, yes. Rudolph? I, I see everyone's Rudolf, and I think it's brilliant. Each each one of them has got amazing, amazing you know, good Rudolph-ness. Mm. <laughs> and I can learn a lot from everyone, yeah. which is so... I, I watch a lot of videos, watch every one of them in a rehearsal, and try to take as much information as possible Great. from them as well. Well, we love your Rudolph-ness particularly, <laughs> especially having seen it up close this evening. Thank you very much, both of you. Go home, sleep, and <laughs> see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, very you. Much. Thank, Thank you. you. Sadly, that does bring us to the end of tonight's Insight. Uh, we've been joined by viewers all over the world, including the USA, Brazil, Kenya, Turkey, Norway, Chile and South Africa. Some of them must be watching in the middle of the night. Um, and they've had some great things to say. Uh, Brack said, I've never seen this ballet before, but it looks beautiful. Uh, Pale Waves says, it's magical. So much emotion and intensity in those moves. And Icarus simply says, Kenneth Macmillan was a god. Don't forget, you can see this spectacular production of Myling here at the Royal Opera House from the 8th of October and in cinemas around the world on the 15th of October. A massive thank you to members of the Royal Ballet, the ones who have joined us this evening. Gary Avis, Melissa Hamilton, Ria Ricci Hirano, Paul Kay, Alexander Agajanov and Paul Stobart. <laughs> and a big thank you to our wonderful audience here at the Royal Opera House and to all of you watching on YouTube all over the world. Thank you and good night. <laughs>